Welcome to my channel. This morning I thought I'd tell you about my small vintage skipper collection which was started off with my own skipper doll. This is my childhood skipper and I remember getting her. She, um, I actually, she was second hand when I got her and she came in a little basket and she came with some clothes. The clothes she came with were this little dress here. I have no idea if it's, a, if it's an original skipper dress, it's not labelled, but she came with that dress. And she came with this little nurse's outfit. Again, I have no idea if it's an original skipper outfit or not. All I know is that it came with her. And little nurse's hat. It also came with a little, um, which I still have, but I couldn't find this morning, as a little slight ski cap, which was obviously part of an outfit. I can't remember if she ever had the whole outfit. Uh, this dress here, I remember buying as a fashion pack dress from farmers in Takapuna in New Zealand, with some pocket money I had. And this was also bought as a fashion pack dress with some pocket money I had, and that would have been bought in Farmers in Takapuna in Auckland, New Zealand as well. <clears throat> uh, she actually has uh, little chew marks on her feet from when the dog got hold of her. Unfortunately, the dog did destroy one of her hands. It actually bit her hand off. This wasn't when I was a child, this was actually after I had left home and my mum's dogs had um, obviously got into whatever box she was stored in and chewed her arm off. I was fortunate enough to be able to find a second hand arm for her. It's still slightly damaged. Not sure if it will focus in on it or not, but at least she has hands now. Her original fingers have got like a little bit of black nail polish or something on. I don't think that's original. I think that's probably something I did. I did give her pierced ears and they have greened a bit. And somebody said to try Oxy 10 on them. So I might actually try that this week. I've never tried before. I was a bit scared of ruining her. But if I try on the ears first and see what happens. Uh, can I get it in there to show you? Anyway, that's what I will try. So she started off my collection of skipper dolls. I bought two other Malibu skippers as I'd hoped they would match her skin tone, but actually they are a bit different. She was made in, I think she's a, a Korean one, I'm not sure. Um, let's have a look. She is marked on her bottom and my eyesight is no longer good enough to read it so I will um, put it in the description box below <laughs> once I've finished it and I've got a magnifying glass and I can read it. Oh dear. So, but these dolls are slightly different. They have slightly different coloured bodies. Um, Although she actually looks identical. She may be the same. I may have got her after I managed to find a replacement arm. And this girl, she may be the same as well, actually. No, she, yeah, she may be the same as well, although her body is, is different. It's a different material. So anyway, so I've basically got three Malibu skippers. I don't really know why I've kept the other two, but I have. And then I've got three earlier vintage skippers with the hard, hard legs, uh, completely unbendable. They were, I think, the first skippers that came out. They have lovely side glancing eyes. And she has the blonde hair. I have the brunette. And I have the red head. I have a few earlier vintage skipper clothes, but not many. I have this little dress here. This little outfit here. 
and I have part of a pyjama set, but not all of it. I think it's called Sleepover or something. So I thought I would... I actually need to tidy these girls up. I need to make some special... Um, I need to make some little bands for their head and give their hair some attention. But in the meantime, I thought I'd put them on, put their dresses on them to show you. She looks quite sweet in that. And then put the blonde in the pink dress. Can't remember how I how to get this one on. I have a feeling I used that round her hair, although it's probably about, but I'm going to untie the knot or not. No. I'm going to try and slick, stick it around her head. So there she is. And lastly, the brunette can wear the pyjama outfit. She can pretend she's going to a sleepover. This one still has the original skipper label in. So there we go. And then lastly, I have one boy. I have Ricky, the friend. He doesn't have any shoes. Most of my dolls don't have shoes of this era. Um, the shoes seem to be hard to come by. And so this little girl isn't left without clothes. I thought I'd put a little dress that I made on her. I think it fits. I can't remember. There we go. So there she is. I think it's probably a little big for her really, but at least she's got some clothes on. So they are my skipper dolls. I'm going to put this little dress on her. She looks cute. I don't know if there are any expert skipper collectors out there who could tell me if this is an actual skipper dress or not. I'd love to know. Although, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it's original to her because it came with her. As I say, if anyone knows um, whether the little nurse's outfit and that dress are original to skipper, I'd really love to know. Thanks a lot. Bye.